In this video, we will be learning how to determine if three points on a plane form a right triangle. So we're going to do that using an example. So here we're going to determine if the points 2 comma negative 1, 5 comma 5, and 6 comma negative 3 form a right triangle. And to help us do that, we're going to use our old friend, the Pythagorean Theorem which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared where our a and our b are our legs and our c is our hypotenuse. So in order to use Pythagorean's theorem we first need to know the distance for each leg and side of the triangle. So we're going to find the distance between the points 2 comma negative 1 and 5 comma 5. That's going to be our first distance. We're going to find our second distance between 5 comma 5 and 6 comma negative 3. And then we're going to find our third distance, which is going to be between 6 comma negative 3 and 2 comma negative 1. And so remember that our distance formula is the square root of the change of y's squared plus the change of x's squared. So here we have our x1 and our x2 and our y1 and our y2. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that in and we're going to have 5, whoops, let's do the y's first. So we're going to have 5 minus negative 1 squared plus 5 minus 2 squared. We're going to plug that into our calculator to get our square root. So the square root of 45. And we're not going to worry about reducing that. We're just going to leave it. So we're going to move on to our second distance now. So here we have our x1 and our x2 and our y1 and our y2. And we'll go ahead and we'll plug those in. And that's going to give us a negative 3 minus 5 squared plus a 6 minus 5 squared. And again, we're going to plug that into our calculator. The square root of 65. All right, so let's go ahead and find our third distance. So here we have our x1 and our x2 and our y1 and our y2. We'll just go ahead and we'll plug those in. And that is going to give us a negative 1 minus negative 3 squared plus a 2 minus 6 squared. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that into our calculator. And here we're going to get the square root of 20. So now we're going to be plugging in the square root of 45, the square root of 65, and the square root of 20 into our Pythagorean theorem to see if it forms a right triangle. But we need to know which one of these is our hypotenuse. So to do that, we want to check the insides and see which one is bigger, 20, 45, or 65. Yep, 65 is bigger. So this will be in our hypotenuse spot. So we'll put our square root of 45 quantity squared in our a squared spot. So let's, let's look at this. So we have our, our a squared plus our b squared. And that's supposed to equal our c squared. So we're going to put our pieces in. So this is what we're going to put for our a spot. I just start it with a blue star. And then the, the square root of 20 will be our b. So here we've got the square root of 45 and we still need to square that, plus oops, the square root of 20, and we still need to square that, and that should equal our square root of 65, but don't forget, you've got to square that too. When we have a square root raised to a square power, the square root and the square cancel each other out. So here we have 45, plus, 
And then the square root of 20 and the 2 will cancel out in the square. So that is the 20. So we want to know, does that equal the same thing? Square root of 65 and squared, so 65. Does that equal the same thing? So if I do the left-hand side, I get a value of 65, which equals our value of 65 over here. So that tells us, yes, they form a right triangle. And we're done. So in order to determine if three points form a right triangle, you're going to find the three distances between the points, then plug them into the Pythagorean theorem, and if the Pythagorean theorem holds, then those three points form a right triangle.